In this video, we're going to perform decimal operations on the calculator. Use your calculator to compute each of the following, round as indicated. So I'm going to use my computer's calculator, and I will use the, the class's calculator, the TI-30 MultiView, um, in another video. Um, but I want you to be able to see how to perform these operations on a generic calculator. So a lot of students like to use their cell phone as a calculator, but your cell phone can't do a lot of the things that uh, the more advanced calculators can do. In addition, you cannot use your cell phone on an exam, so you want to learn how to use a generic or a handheld calculator as well. But in general, most of the steps are somewhat similar. They're just easier on your handheld calculator. So here we want to multiply 4.32 times 3.17 and round our result to the nearest tenth. So frequently we'll have to do multiplication like this and nobody really does this by hand. You don't need to. We could and you've learned how to but we don't want to. So 4.32 the asterisk is the multiplying button. Notice it's recording what I have up here 3.17 and here's the result. I need to round to the nearest tenth Okay, so I go to the hundredths place. This is bigger than 5, so I'm going to add 1 to the 6 and make it 7 and drop the rest of the numbers. So first I'm going to write 13.6, already forgotten, 944. Okay, this is not the rounded answer, but then to round to the nearest tenth, which is one decimal place, I want to round to this place value. This is bigger than 5. So I have 13.7. Really be careful with your rounding. So many times I see students think they're doing a problem completely wrong and it's just because they rounded incorrectly in the end. Okay. Let's look at the next problem. Okay. Also, just to mention, if your computer calculator doesn't look like this, if you hit view, okay, I have it on scientific as opposed to standard. So standard looks like this. Um, you may want more buttons than this if you use a computer calculator. Again, I highly recommend you learn how to use your handheld one as well. Okay, so we have 523.14 divided by 23.56. Notice this decimal is going on forever. I can't even write this out or I don't want to. And it actually keeps going. It never stops. But the calculator is actually rounding. But we want the rounded version to the nearest thousandth. So I'm going to look at the thousandths place. That's where there's a 4. To the right of it, there's a 5. So I'm going to round up. So I'm going to add 1 to the 4 and make that 5 and drop the rest of the digits. So that will be 22.205. 22. 22 Okay. Evaluate 0 0.1 squared. Write your result first in decimal form and then convert to a simplified fraction. Okay. So your calculator, this one has, it says x squared, and I know that looks like algebra, but this is just going to square something. So if I hit 3 and this button, it says sqr3, and it says the answer is 9 and I could also hit equals. Okay, So we want to do this for 0 0.1. Um, we don't actually need the parentheses here, but even this calculator has parentheses, so I'm going to put it in parentheses, and then I'm going to hit this button, and that squares it. So it's going to the square of 0.1, and that's actually our result, 0 0.01. So that's our decimal form, and we're asked to also convert it to a simplified fraction. Okay, And remember what this means. This means 1 one hundredth. We have 0 in the 1, 0 in the tenth, so this is just 1 in the hundredths place. So it's 1 over 100, and that's actually simplified already. Okay. And finally, combine the numbers below. Round your final result to the nearest whole number. So most calculators keep track of what you're doing on top so you can look at it, which is helpful. 3.721. Okay. 
okay, plus 4.35, now there's a times, times is asterisk, times 21.72 minus 0 0.03, okay. Uh, notice I put this entire expression in. Remember from the order of operations that if we were going to do this by hand or if you wanted to do this one operation at a time, you need to do the multiplication first. The calculator knows this, so I could put this whole expression in. It's all in there even though we can't see the 0.03 on top. And it will perform the order of operations correctly. And this is our result. Okay. Remember, it's tempting to just write this down, but we were asked to round to the nearest whole number. And this is our whole numbers place. Okay, The 8 is in the 1's place. That's what we call rounding to the nearest whole number. The tenths is less than 5. So the nearest whole number, this is between 98 and 99. It's closer to 98. So our answer is 98. I highly suggest you practice these problems and check to see if you get the same results here. Sometimes it's easy to watch somebody else punch it into the calculator, but then you press a button incorrectly when you do it on your own, so make sure to double check your work.